Hi there. I'm going to talk about some joint work with my collaborators, Jason, Kevin, and James. Well, deep learning models show superhuman performance on a surprising number of domains, they also often make really disappointing systematic errors. Often, this looks like poor performance on marginalized groups like protected classes and well known demographics. But other times, models can fail in sort of unexpected ways. Medical imaging classifiers can be sensitive to the choice of imaging hardware. Essay scoring systems sometimes give high scores to poorly written essays just because they're long. And visual question answering systems can work well on some questions, but fail as soon as the question is rephrased. And while there's a great literature on tools for testing for and repairing these sorts of issues, these tools typically require that you know what these errors are going to be ahead of time. You have to anticipate what the potential failures are going to be. And that can be a very difficult task when models can fail in these sort of unexpected ways. And so the goal of our work is to take a trained deep learning model and surface the sorts of systematic errors that it's making without any prior knowledge or explicit labels of what the problematic subgroups might be. The way that we do this is we use a fact about deep neural networks, which is that semantically similar inputs tend to have similar representations in their final hidden layers. We leverage this fact by searching for a contiguous set of points in this space where the model achieves high loss. And we call this set of points a spotlight. Unlike prior work, which has thought about clustering this space and then reporting what the highest loss clusters are, we treat it as an optimization problem where we directly hunt for the high loss regions in this space. The resulting approach is then model agnostic because we don't need to know any details of the model except for the losses and last layer representations of all of the inputs. And we demonstrate this flexibility by running the spotlight on a variety of different models and different modalities. In image classification, we show that a fair face face classification model often fails on images of young children. And an ImageNet model often fails when it's faced with images that have lots of different objects in them. But the same approach also works for NLP models. We show ways to find failures in sentiment analysis models running on Amazon reviews and in deep recommender systems where we find the sorts of movie reviews that are difficult to predict. This sort of qualitative approach doesn't fix your model immediately, of course, but we think that it's useful in a broader model development pipeline. It can show you ways that additional data can help you in training, show you ways that you can improve your model's architecture, identify edge cases where you might not even want to deploy your model at all, and find auditing targets that you might want to watch out for in the future. If you're interested, check out the full paper and our open source implementation on GitHub. Thanks.